Hey there! Hi my cuties! How have you guys been doing? As always, your friend Vinika. I have been doing super duper awesome really and I hope you guys are doing the best. So today I'm really excited for today's storytelling session and I'm not going to waste any time at all today. It's going to be a little long story because I'm going to talk about Ganesha. Yes, we all know that it's a Ganesha festival that is going on and it's going to go on for a few days, right? So you guys must know how Ganesha was born, right? Are you guys excited to know how Ganesha was born? So this is the place to hear the story of how Ganesha was born. And before that, I want to remind you to do not forget to subscribe to my channel Fun Stash. Click on this red button and subscribe to my channel. So let me quickly show you today's book that I'm going to read aloud. And this is the book. It's called Ganesha, the God of Prosperity. I ordered this from Amazon. It has a really good feel. The pages are very nice. This is a hardcover book. And... The font size is really big and very very good pictures for kids to have a look at. So if you guys like it, just go ahead and order it from Amazon. So let's start reading Ganesha's Divine Birth. Once, Goddess Parvati, wife of Lord Shiva, she was getting ready for her bath. Do not allow anyone to enter while I am in my private chamber, said Parvati Mata. She ordered this to Nandi and asked him to stand guard at the entrance. A few minutes later, Nandi saw Shiva approaching. The goddess has asked me to stop anyone from entering. But Shiva is her husband. How can I stop him? He thought to himself. Meanwhile, Shiva entered Parvati's private chamber. The handmaids who were applying turmeric to her, they fled on seeing Shiva. Parvati too was surprised to see him inside despite her instructions. And she said, How could Nandi let you in? Parvati, have you forgotten that I am your husband? replied Shiva laughingly. But Parvati was far from amused. She was not happy about it. This has to stop. No Gana, Gana are the followers of Shiva. No Gana will ever be completely mine. I must have my own follower who will listen to only me, she thought. She then collected all the turmeric paste which had been applied on her body and she created a form using that paste and then she breathed some life into it. Lo and behold, a young boy stood in front of her. My son, said Parvati and she hugged the boy. You are my son. You will only listen to your mother. Your wish is my command mother, said the young boy. Then go and guard the entrance. Do not allow anyone to enter, said Parvati. And she gave him a stick as a weapon. The boy took his position outside her chamber. Soon, Shiva returned to meet Parvati. Stop! No one goes there, asked the boy. Son, you seem to be new here. I am Shiva, Parvati's husband, Shiva said. And I am her son, said the boy. My mother has ordered me not to let anyone through the door. Lord Shiva was also very surprised. But you don't seem to understand. I am her husband, Shiva said. I cannot allow anyone in, the boy repeated and he raised his stick. Shiva pondered for a few minutes and he left the place. He called all his Ganas and instructed them to teach the boy a lesson. When the boy saw the Ganas approaching, he was in doubt. They were Shiva's followers and he was Parvati's son. How could he fight them? But Parvati, sensing her son's dilemma, sent the word through her handmaid that he was not to let 
anyone in without her permission. The boy was now confident and he fought the Ganas bravely. Soon he had defeated all of them. Shiva was surprised to see his followers defeated. He asked Lord Brahma for help. Do not worry, I will make him understand who you are, said Brahma and went to the boy disguised as a sage. But the boy would not listen and he raised his stick at Brahma too. Boy, Brahma! Parvati was very furious with the way Shiva was trying to persuade her son to let him enter. So she called upon Goddess Durga and Kali, her avatars, to go and help her son. You will help my son now, she ordered them. Kali swallowed all the deadly weapons thrown at the boy by Shiva's followers who had returned to the fight, while Durga fought the other devas who had come to help Shiva. So now a battle was going on between the followers of Parvati and Shiva. When they could not defeat the boy, Shiva finally took the battlefield. Lord Vishnu flew into the battle on Garuda. And as he kept the boy busy in combat, Shiva hurdled his trishul at the boy. The battle was becoming very fierce and Lord Shiva was really angry at the boy. Eventually, he tried to kill the boy and he pointed his trishul at the boy. The boy's head was severed from the body and he fell lifeless on the ground. Goddess, they have killed your son, cried out Parvati's handmaids. Parvati was very angry. She created hundreds of shaktis, her forms in anger. Go and avenge the death of my son, she ordered. The shaktis created havoc on the battlefield killing hundreds of Ganas and Devas. Brahma, Vishnu and Indra, they rushed to Shiva. Please console Parvati, they begged him. Shiva thought for a few minutes and asked his Ganas to bring him the head of first living being they saw sleeping with its head in the wrong direction. The Ganas, they found an elephant sleeping in its head in the northern direction. They cut the elephant's head and they brought it back to Shiva. He placed the head on the lifeless body of the boy and within seconds the boy arose as if he was away from a deep sleep and everyone was very happy to see him. You have to give my son the most important possession, Parvati demanded from Shiva. From today, he will be known as Ganesha and he will be worshipped before anyone else. Shiva said, that is why Ganesha is the first to be worshipped at all auspicious occasions. So guys, that's the story about how Lord Ganesha was born. If you like the story, do leave a heart for me so that I will know you like the story. Yes, that's how we can talk, right? Hmm. And if you want me to read out more stories on Ganesha, then you can ping me on my Instagram account. I will link that below in the description box. We can talk over there very well. Yes, mommies, do follow me over there. You know the account. And you can send me your request on that account as well. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, then do let me know. Okay, I have to tell you one more information. That is about my YouTube channel. Now it is becoming a kids channel. And as per the kids channel policy, you are not really allowed to put comments out there. So, how can we talk? I thought of an idea. Maybe we can talk on my Instagram. You can DM me your queries, your requests or whatever. And some of you do have my WhatsApp number, don't you? Yes. So, you guys can reach out to me over there on my Instagram. I will link the Instagram account in the description box down below. Do not forget to follow me on my Instagram. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel, Fun Stash. Thank you so much for watching guys. You guys are the best.